<laughs> oh, I'm so glad we're doing this. We're here with Natalia Peruse, or better known to the world as Saw Lady. Thank you so much for allowing us to be here. I can't wait to get into this. And... Thank you for coming. Yeah. So this is specifically made for... Yes. Mm -hmm. One can play any saw. Yeah. Like you can take your pick of any of the saws here. Mm -hmm. they and there's all a lot play. of them. And I would imagine that people had saws and eventually they figured out that they could get notes from exactly. them. Exactly. Yeah. Because just like uh, today's carpenters, they discover... A lot of carpenters just discover the musical capabilities of their tools, but yeah. just by chance, just yeah. by working in woodwork. We were just filming with a drill, actually. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, it doesn't make for a very good instrument, but yeah. we were in the I did a duet with a drill once. Oh. <laughs> did we bring the drill? <laughs> oh, we just brought a guitar? All right. Oh. What's the range on this? With saws, size really does matter. Yeah, yeah and some of these are huge and dangerous. <laughs> the longer the blade, mm -hmm. the more notes it would have. Yeah. So like, for example, this tiny saw, baby saw here, it's 12 And it's just like just long. from Home Depot or something. It doesn't have that many notes on it. And it's all very high and squeaky because there mm -hmm. isn't that much metal to vibrate. You're still getting a lot of use out of it, though. If you take a larger saw, just a regular saw made for a carpentry, so longer saw. More notes. Wow, that works so much better than I would think that it would. Saws that are made for carpentry are usually thicker than saws that are made for music. That makes for a really good sound because there's more metal to vibrate, but bending steel. After a while, it hurts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they say you gotta suffer for your art, but yeah, still. Yeah. Saws that are made for music tend to be thinner. Mm -hmm. And won't chop you in half. No, no, some of them actually yeah. have <laughs> will chop you in half. This Muscle and Westfall one, it's the oldest still being manufactured today mm -hmm. saw for music in the mm. United States. And as you can see, it says professional musical, musical saw. saw. But it still has the, still has the blade. Teeth. Yeah. Just in case you wanted to use it. Traditionally, in vaudeville time, yeah. there was a very popular act. The saw player will come out on stage and he will sit on the chair and he will like, oh, the chair is wobbly. So he will flip the chair over, cut off a piece. <laughs> okay, now I can sit and then he will play. <laughs> I love that. It's, it's a very useful tool yeah. to have. Yeah, yeah. This one's a musical saw. Can I, can I see it's quite a bit thinner than... So you know, it's easier to bend. And yeah. then do you get higher notes with it being just like a guitar string, I would imagine? The height of the notes doesn't have to do with the, with the width. thickness. It has to do with the length. I love how you have your name on it too. This actually was my very, very first saw that I performed with. My oh, very cool. first saw that I tried was, uh, yeah. I just borrowed it from my landlady yeah. uh, and I had to give it back. <laughs> yeah. uh, but this was the first one that I actually used to perform with. Mm -hmm. The lower you bow, the lower the note because there's more metal vibrating. Mm -hmm. The higher you bow, the higher the note because really less metal vibrating. Bend the blade and you bow it, it's not that the entire blade vibrates. It only vibrates from the point of where you bow it and up. Really? So if I were to bow it, let's say in the middle, only from here to here vibrates. From here to here, it doesn't vibrate. Bow lower, wow. now from here to here vibrates, more metal vibrating lower sound. If I were to just hold it like this without bending, uh -huh. nothing happens. If I were to just bend it down, nothing happens. The secret to saw playing <laughs> is pushing down with your thumb, but at the same time you're pulling up. Oh. And that creates a very shallow S-curve. The very tip of the S-curve is where the note is. So like here's the oh. S-curve, but if I'm here, or if I'm down there, nothing. But if I'm at the tip of the S-curve, that's the magic. Also, it's surprisingly loud. 
Like this won't come through the video, but it's a very loud instrument. I was, I it's, wasn't. It is loud. Yeah, it's a lot louder than I would anticipate. It yeah, I've played with no amplification with different ensembles, like a string quartet, even an orchestra, mm -hmm. and no amplification. You could hear it. It yeah. cuts through. It do it, it, it <laughs> sure does. <laughs> when you're adding tension to it, you're just bringing the S curve over so that you can play higher parts. Is that how it works? Okay, so I maintain the S curve, and then I just I bend to wherever pitch I want. Mm -hmm. So the S curve stays, the degree of the angle mm. varies. Do you want to try? Yes, I would love to try it. Do you want to start with a mallet? Traditionally, like when, when I teach, mm. it's easier to... I'll start with the mallet then. Yeah. Yeah. This motion. Exactly. That it doesn't have to be a very strong S curve. So right here. Give it a whack. <laughs> and the saw player is born. As you okay. bend it down, uh -huh. hit it oh, you have further to go up. up. Yeah. yeah. Or if you're going Let's... down, then hit it further down. Yes. Ooh, okay. Yeah. See if you can tell what I'm playing and then that'll be my test. Is this happy birthday? It sounds like happy birthday. No, it's not. Oh. Then I'm way off if it's happy birthday. <laughs> I don't know why it's the first, it's just the two notes I happen to stumble upon. The Titanic song? Yes, yes! <laughs> Yes, thank you, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> it was just the first two notes I happened to stumble upon. Ooh, but... Ooh this is hard. <laughs> hey, you're doing amazingly great for, oh, for a first time. Oh, thank you. When I was going higher, I'm, I'm going to like... Yeah, don't... Oh, and there's harmonics with it too. Yeah. But I guess you're, you're probably not to, trying. Yeah, you're trying, you're trying to, to avoid. avoid. <laughs> I think I can move on to the bow. It so, kind of hurts my thighs too. It is a workout. It's I'm really pressing, yeah. pressing my thighs. Yeah, in and this you you gotta do because otherwise it'll slip through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you have this coming down on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a very intimidating instrument to play. Where's his uh, bow? That's right here. You only really need to rosin the very end. Unlike with a violin where you have to bow each note, mm -hmm. here you can bow one note and do a whole octave on one bowing. Mm. So it's kind of cool. Establish a note with this and then don't move that hand. Keep it in that position. I'll stay with the first yeah. note on near. <laughs> exactly where you, you uh, um, malleted before. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> my, my thighs are already like really feeling it. It's yeah, like a workout. it's a workout. And then your arm is going to start feel, feeling it yeah. too. Yeah. And I notice as soon as I stop like pressing my thighs against it, I get vibrato. It's like thigh vibrato. Yeah, like, it's, a, it's exactly, it's a thing actually, we'll talk about yeah. it. Holding the bow at a 90 degrees angle to the blade. And, and you want it like straight on like that or like this? That doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? Yeah. Okay, that's a very, very good start. This is, it it takes a lot. <laughs> He's in pain. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me do, do, some, <laughs> let me do, some, do some stretches here. Now you know why there aren't that many saw players. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's a good one. So now you know that it's here. 90 degrees angle. Oh. I, that was a very good one. Well, thanks. I'm so bad at bowing too. That's good. Ooh. That's even better. How much effort do you put in the bow? Not much. Not much? Not much. Bow a note here and then immediately go whack, but not losing the mm -hmm. S-curve. Oh, we're going the other way. Even more. Go all the way. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, that. so you can really bend it. I don't need yeah. to worry about it. Yes. Hey, that gets really high up there. Yeah. How many octaves do you think you would have on this? Well, this is a 26 mm -hmm. inches. They would have uh, an octave and a half. An octave and a half. For playing serious music, you want at least 30 inches. You get almost the range of a flute. Like two octaves. With that, you could already do a repertoire. It's a lot more of a range than I would expect from a saw. Roughly two octaves more than I would expect from a saw. <laughs> I got that one. Very nice. Thank you. So now, try to do a scale. And a rebow. 
ah, but Rebo up there. Yeah. Oh, because like, yeah, of you, course, you we have to move so, it. Yeah. That's not something that I anticipated. Well, I didn't really know what I was getting into, frankly, but like, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't think you'd have to move, but like, of course you would. I just figured you were vibrating the entire thing the whole time and yeah. you're simply just changing the tension on it. But yeah, that's not what no, you're doing. No. You're changing the tension and the length, which yeah. makes sense why you can get so many more notes out of it than I assumed because you're doing both of those things. Right. And I feel like I'm, it's gonna, I'm gonna snap it, but I'm, of course I'm not. I did uh, actually break two saws. Oh, really? It was because I was playing in the subway and it was freezing. Mm -hmm. When the cold penetrates the blade, it doesn't work want to vibrate and I was mm -hmm. forcing it to vibrate. These are identical saws except this one is about an inch shorter. That's where a crack happened. All of a sudden the, it went mute on me and I was like what the heck is going on? So I looked up and there was a crack almost all the way oh. across. If I had not stopped at that moment. Jeez. Yeah, but that's because it was freezing. We are oh. in room temperature. We're fine. You're, yeah. Yeah. you're safe. <laughs> if you were playing one of these the saw blade would have. Yeah. So let's talk about vibrato, since you're doing vibrato. Yeah. The traditional vibrato is with the leg. I bounce my right knee, mm -hmm. and that creates a very shallow vibrato. That's interesting. This vibrato helps in elongating the duration of a note. If you want to hold a note without rebowing, or if like you're trying to do the scale without mm -hmm. rebowing, if you add a little bit of this shallow vibrato, it keeps the vibrations going. What's interesting about that too is you can get subtle vibrato and you can keep your hands exactly where they need yes. to be for that note and yeah. just do vibrato elsewhere right. instead of moving around, which would make it harder so, to So that is the other, from basically your elbow to, mm -hmm. to your hand, that's a bigger vibrato, yeah. it's more pronounced. Yeah. Now, if you want a controlled vibrato, which is actually really more like a trill, you can just use from your wrist. That's cool. So those are the three. Leg. Also, if you're really nervous at a performance and you're shaking, yeah. it's actually you just get, helpful. You get a lot of vibrato. <laughs> I like our style, like vibrato the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I keep changing the amount of the S curve just because I'm... Um, you're getting tired. Yeah. There is also a thing called a tip handle. Hmm. Oh, invention. that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. You can just hold it like this and it's more ergonomic. Because I see in these that are built specifically for this that don't yes. have it. They have one of those built right, right in. Oh, this feels a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> this is a lot better. I just let you experience it, you know, the traditional way first. Uh -huh. Torture him first. Yeah. Then. <laughs> Actually, maybe can I go back to the mallet for a little while? Of course. Wow. Try this saw. See how wider it mm -hmm. is here? Let's just compare. Uh, the metal is slightly thicker. It has a mellower tone. I don't know why that's, I, I didn't plan on playing Titanic today. <laughs> <laughs> Try playing with no vibrato at all. Yeah. Right now my vibrato technique is like, if the note's here and I'm having trouble, I'll just wave around yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that C's in there right, somewhere, you right. know. Does it feel different from the other yeah, side? Yeah, yeah it does. Yeah. How? It's harder, it's just bigger, so it's harder to move. And the node points are in a different place yeah. as well. Beautiful tone. You want to try the professional musical saw. Yes. You hold it like this with your pinky underneath here oh. and your thumb over here. It's really ergonomic. Oh, like... <gasps> oh God. <laughs> it's the other way. It's oh. this way. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You pull it down and that creates the, the S-curve. Nice. So it goes lower because it's a much larger saw. How high does that one go? <laughs> that is loud too. Because it's such a long blade. Mm -hmm. Just like lean on it, you know, like mm -hmm. nothing. So I'm not even like, yeah, yeah just yeah, like this. Yeah. Okay, now I'm not even putting any pressure on it. I'm just yeah, letting gravity just lean, do yeah, the work. Yeah, just leaning on it. <laughs> is this the one you use most often? Yeah. I would say, yeah, it's way more comfortable to play. Yes, it's ergonomic. Sure. The handle doesn't have ears. Yeah. I used to get black and blue marks here from, mm. from the ears. I would love to try to play along with some music. I could even put my guitar in just an open tuning and you could just strum it. I have no idea what to do here. And an open tuning makes it so that you don't even need to use the frets. Oh, wow. Wow, that's beautiful. Sounds great. Wow. 
There you go. And what? then you can get a lot of music by just strumming all the way through or just playing a string at the time. Okay. We're just gonna try our best on each Easy other's enough. instruments here. Yeah. <laughs> You're holding it uh, the other way. I'm holding it wrong again. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. It really sounds like we're out in the country, you know? <laughs> Right, sitting on the porch. You're doing great, by the way. Yeah. yeah you are hey. great. <laughs> it's a lot easier for me on this off. I hear another instrument and then I can grab the for other sure. notes. Yeah. Aren't open tunings great? Yeah. yeah. How long have you been playing guitar? <laughs> Two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It already sounds great. I'm feeling way more comfortable with this. I can barely bow. What you had today is like a condensed lesson. Yeah, uh -huh. And you're doing extremely well. You're a Thank natural. You. Thank you really? so much. Do you ever mute it too? Like Oh yeah, and usually you, you mute it with the bow or you can just go like this with your fist on it. Oh, just like that? Yeah. 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 And I find too, like I'm just moving my legs a little bit without thinking about it and it's... Exactly. That is why it doesn't really work to draw markings of where the notes are. Uh -huh. Because if you just move a tiny bit with your legs, it's all off. It's off. Really, you have to use your ears and constantly yeah. retune yourself. Mm -hmm. We were learning that too when we were with uh, Carolina Ike on the theremin. Like it's so much changes. Yeah. Speaking of the theremin, when Leon was working on his instrument, he was actually aiming to recreate the sound of the saw. Because back really? in those days, saw playing was very popular. It was at the height of its popularity. So a lot of people today, they hear the saw and they say, oh, it sounds like the theremin. They don't even know how accurate they are. Interesting, this is the other way around. Yeah, it's kind of cool that the very first electronic musical instrument did not aim to, re to recreate the sound of a piano, a yeah. violin. Here's our first electronic instrument, this brand new thing, and we're trying to recreate so. Yeah. <laughs> if you really want to cheat your way through guitar, you can yeah. it for a second. We just use a capo, and all this does is just brings it to like a certain fret. So like we're in the key of D, and then if I put it here, now we're in the key of E. And again, your left hand doesn't need to do anything. Just like the saw, how you're changing the length of it, you're changing the length of the string here. It goes, oh. So we've clamped it at E. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> we had something going on. <laughs> you sound great. Oh, guitar is fun. <laughs> oh yeah, guitar is the best, I love it. You can't saw anything down with this though. You can hit, hit somebody on the head with it. Oh yeah, these are both great weapons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's right. What's weird about it is that it's not like linear. It's not, I'm not really like thinking about one thing, but it's also the pressure that I'm putting on it. It's like how far to the left am I putting on it? How far down and like what space? With guitar, it's pretty simpler in that it's linear. Like if you have one string, you go this way, also, and, and you just get higher notes. Oh, you're off tapping already. <laughs> oh, that's a thing? That, yeah, that is like. <laughs> Do you think you could try that tapping thing on the 12th fret? Guitar tapping in your first five minutes? <laughs> well, it's pretty playing impressive. In the first five seconds. <laughs> um, I guess should we switch to our regular instruments? Uh, what key do you want? I have no idea. I don't either. I'm going to tune back to standard.
<laughs> when you would just hold on like one note with just a bit of vibrato, it just has this really like ghostly, beautiful. I was like, yeah. I was like, what does that remind me of? Kind of reminds me of Metallica, doesn't it? I yeah. Know, oh my God, could you do uh, this melody? And then it's the whole step. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, add that to the instruments we played Metallica on on this channel. <laughs> the most metal of all instruments. Yeah, right? Yeah. Metal. Yeah. Exactly. And it, I see you doing like a, a wiggle, and it gets yeah. like a bunch of little notes in a row. Yeah, what are you doing there? So before we were like going up and down, uh -huh. right? If you want to avoid the gliss, you're not going to avoid it completely, but at least a little bit. Then at the same time that you're going up and down, you're also going diagonally. Mm. This is called snapping the blade. It just enables you to go directly, more or less, from note to note. So instead of like glissing, like... You know, there's a lot of gliss in yeah, between. Yeah. So... Wow, yeah, <laughs> that is really cool. Yeah, it sounds a lot more musical when you do it that way than when, what I was trying to do. It's a preference, it's a style mm -hmm. preference. Some people actually really love the continuous sliding. Mm -hmm. It sounds like a sine wave. Like, yeah, this, it is it very is, wave, it is an S curve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is some university somewhere that did research mm -hmm. on different sounds of different instruments and the sound of the saw is the one that had a perfect mm. s curve like the purest tone and actually it's even more pure than the sound of an oboe you know when an orchestra tunes they tune to the sound of the oboe because it's so pure this is even more pure and why it sounds like a theremin too because a theremin is just sine a wave. pure sine wave yeah, yeah. you know there's a, a cool experiment yeah. you put talcum powder on the blade oh, yeah. and the talcum powder arranges itself in two straight lines like this, and that's actually where the sound is. Do you have any talcum powder? Wow. Whoa. Okay, let's... <laughs> nice, nice percussive. <laughs> He's a natural. Talcum so, powder. So I have never actually tried it. This is fun. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Let me know when. Okay, all set. Whoa. Or not. Whoa. 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 And yeah, it's not vibrating over here. What about a really low note? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> An avalanche. Wow, what about that was a cool. what about a No Whoa! Hey, you it's can going back. Yeah, yeah, you can see the vibrations yeah! move up the saw. That is so cool. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can really see it moving. Yeah, I hope it comes across on camera, so but it too, definitely yeah. doesn't. <laughs> Those are my go-to chords too. I've used them in so many videos. They're just so pretty. And then yeah, with this like singing on top of it, it's just really lovely. It's fun playing with you. Oh yeah, this was great. <laughs> We've got to use one of the huge rusty saws. This one I've never, I, I don't really play. I mean, it's just cool, you know. Oh yeah, this is real sharp too. This is <laughs> yeah. This is this is a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
<laughs> you can tell that there's like a lot of overtones in it that like you don't really want. It doesn't have as clear of a sound yeah, as the others. Yeah, yeah. But it looks awesome. It does. <laughs> as you're saying, there's not a whole lot you can get out of it. Yeah. The you metal know. is probably not pure. Mm -hmm. Plus, it's really thick. Plus, it's rusty. It's got rust on yeah. it. Yeah. I'm up to date with my tetanus shots, but this is, I think I'll put this one back then. <laughs> you reverted back to the yeah, 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 I went right back. I'm just playing slap bass now. <laughs> right. <laughs> Natalia, thank you so much for bringing us here. We really oh. appreciate it. The Solid Lady. Thank you com. for coming to visit me. Yeah. Anything you wanted to plug? SolidLady.com. Yeah. And Saw Lady on all the social media and YouTube, except for uh, Instagram, The Saw Lady. The Saw Lady on Instagram. <laughs> thanks again. And I'm sure this isn't the last time we do something like this on this channel. If you would like to subscribe, thanks so much for being here. Woohoo! <laughs>